We've got a baby orangutan in the front here. We think she's a little girl. We don't know how old she is, but she's quite young. She's quite small. She took her from a very, I think, small cage. The authorities, the police have already been involved. We don't really know what condition she's in. So we're gonna go take her to the clinic, check her out, make sure she's okay. I'm Paul Ramos, a wildlife vet who's traveled the world. A group of us want to delve deeper into the personal story of the orangutan. This used to be primary rainforest, completely land cleared, and they're just, it's just all dirt now. We thought we knew what to expect, but nothing could prepare us for the true realities. She's not, I'm not seeing any breaths, and her heart rate is so faint, I can barely hear it. I think, I think we're, I think we're losing her. The destruction, the loss, was something that followed our journey all the way through. We got rare access to leading organizations who are making a difference. And without centers like these to provide this sort of support and protection, there wouldn't be a chance. But through our adventures, we met characters <laughs> who inspired us and gave us hope. I just have to watch your back. Especially this one is um, picking up some clubs and sticks. Oh, Chinta. Oh, there we go. And we met other animals that few have ever seen. I'm a little bit afraid of heights. This, this island allows them to really hone and strengthen those skills that they're going to need before they're released finally back to the wild. This is a rainforest 20 years in the making. With a goal to document our journey, yet not knowing where it would take us, this is our story.